Hello and welcome to our new series, Berkshire Bites, the show where we get up close and personal with the extraordinary restaurants of Berkshire County. Today we've got some fine food, dazzling drinks, and truly stunning ambiance. But first, this video is sponsored by The Ostrich Room. You'll learn more about them throughout this video, so let's get back to it. Hello everyone and welcome to Berkshire Bites. My name is Tyler Kuhn and I am here in the Ostrich Room at the Apple Tree Inn in Lenox. Cameron, tell us a little bit about the Ostrich Room. Uh, the Ostrich Room is our uh, restaurant and bar here at the Apple Tree Inn. We're open to the public uh, Wednesday through Saturday. We're open six to midnight with food until 10.30. And the thing I think everyone is wondering when they hear the Ostrich Room, it's a funky name. It is. Why is it the Ostrich Room? Uh, what does it mean? Well, the, the really, the closest tie would be the chandelier. So these are ostrich eggs that make up the light of the chandelier. You'll see they're all slightly different. They're probably pretty fragile though, aren't they? <laughs> they like, are. Okay. We've had I one break. So. Are they easy to replace? They are not. You need an ostrich. So say I'm someone coming here. Yep. Am I coming here in my suit and tie? You are Is not. It casual? You are coming here however you want. We will get everything from somebody that has a tie to t-shirts and shorts. And one thing that I guess struck me as I walked in is that, well, you could sit like right here, for example, and yep. eat your dinner. Yes, you it could. It feels a little different than like, you yeah, think like a we, table. We wanted to get away from kind of that formality of you sit at a table with a tablecloth and you're, you know, just there right. having a meal. It's supposed to have more of a lounge feeling to it. So we have all types of different chairs, couches, benches, um, and we really want people to just relax and enjoy the space and we do live music every Wednesday and, and Saturday, about 7.30 to 11. So I'm here, I bring my family, we sit down in the ostrich room. What are we expecting? Appetizers, entrees? We've got a little bit of everything. So a uh, really popular dish is, is crab cakes, which is one of the dishes that our chef has won awards for. Um, but we also, then we have everything from small salads to filet mignon, short rib, uh, salmon, sea bass, uh, so it's a pretty wide-ranging menu. And food is the only thing you offer here. We've got a lot of drinks. What exactly are we dealing with there? So we have a, a big menu of signature cocktails, spicy margarita, cilantro paso, African flowers. We'll show you how to make some of those. Um, but we also have a great wine list. Uh, we carry uh, six or seven different local beers. Uh, and we have just about any spirit you'd be looking for. When we took over in January, we knew that we wanted to offer a full food and beverage menu, and I think the, the other owner really focused strictly on rooms at the end. They used to operate a restaurant, mm -hmm. uh, and so it was something that we knew right away that we wanted to renovate as another way to make this kind of beautiful space and property open to the public uh, that otherwise may not be here. If you live in town, you're probably never going to stay with us, but it's a beautiful property, and we'd love you to still be able to enjoy it. We were then invited back into the kitchen with Chef Miriam to take a look at a couple signature dishes. We're making a couple of things. We're gonna make my um, Caesar salad that I made grill it. It's and grill it for just a few seconds, it seems yeah, like, so right? Yeah, for a moment, you know, it's just a leaf. Okay, and this is our secret dressing Caesar, you know, for this beautiful salad. Secret dressing, homemade, yes. I assume. Homemade. Par yes. What is that, Parmesan, Parmesan, Parmesan cheese? Yeah, Parmesan okay. cheese, you know, a good one and a beautiful, you know. Caesar salad, my mom's favorite meal is Caesar oh, salad. Oh, wow. She loves it, what, so what you think about I might have to send her here. Grilled Caesar salad from the ostrich room. Wow, that dressing, I understand why it's secret. That dressing's phenomenal. And I like the breadstick too. I'm a big breadstick guy. It might be kind of childish of me, but. That is the best and only grilled Caesar salad that I've ever had. Why is not Why is not everyone grilling their Caesar salad? You see, salads? and I see, see, and it's a beautiful flavor. We garnish it with um, corn salsa. Our crab cake is made different. Doesn't have cornbread, doesn't have egg, you know. And that's a house made, obviously. House, everything we make from everything. scratch here. Okay. Now, this one's gonna be tricky because I'm not a seafood guy. The smallest piece of crab. This Perfect. one's for you. But with the corn. Exactly, with the corn and, and the with the chipotle. The corn, it's a combination. Delicious. I can definitely see, this is the signature dish here, you'd it's say, most my, popular? Yeah, well, yeah. I don't have like, a, you say, oh, it's French or, or mm -hmm. it's Japanese, or it's not. It's just a combination of my knowledge, you know, trying to put some nice and clean uh, dishes on the plate. And so, with our stomachs full, we met up with Antonio for a post-dinner drink. 
Oh brother, we're gonna make the like one of the most popular cocktails that we have in the house. Three quarters of an ounce of our special jalapeno infused tequila. One ounce of the regular tequila. Three quarters of an ounce of green chartreuse. Green chartreuse. This smells very strong already. And then we use triple sec or orange liqueur. Two dashes of orange bitters. Half an ounce of agave syrup. Quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Half an ounce of uh, orange juice. And then with this one, I use like kind of pre-handed, like one, two, three, four. And what is that? It looks like that's salsa. That's cucumber juice, actually. Cucumber yeah, juice. that's it cucumber. Looks thick. Yeah. So if I smell like it smells right. So, really? Yeah, so you make drinks based on smell. Pretty much. And then hotter, bro. Hotter, like harder. Yeah, hotter. Like you mean it? Like hotter, hotter, hotter. Wow. Very green looking. I didn't love the taste of tequila, so we moved on to make an African flower. And I'm making this all entirely by myself. So Which I'm glass? Put it right. in there. Ooh. There you oh. go, show up oh, now. <laughs> Add a dash of orange beaters. A dash, okay. That's good. Don't be shy, Ooh, okay. yes, don't be shy. Oh, it's okay, much. it's That's okay, okay, my brother. Get a little extra and here then, for you. There you go. Oh. It's okay, Straight. my brother. So just go all over it on the rim oh. <laughs> spread it so that way when okay. people drink like and this? they get the smell uh-huh you can throw like a dehydrated yeah, orange if you want let's yeah dehydrated, dehydrated orange. orange yeah come here and say i'll have what he had the ostrich room is a fun place yes the food is amazing the drinks are phenomenal and the people are friendly but beyond that it's simply a really cool experience well, everyone, thanks for checking out the Ostrich Room here at the Apple Tree Inn with me. Come on by, check it out yourself, tell them I sent you, and get a free beer or free wine on them. Thanks to me, though, to be clear.